So on, on the topic of Nix and Haskell, um, John Wigley, the maintainer of, of Emacs, started a, an alternative implementation of Nix in Haskell. It's called HNix. Um, right now, it's a parser, complete parser. It's a, yeah, not so complete evaluator, but but quite there. Um, and it's 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 what it's experimenting with type checking as well, um, although it's it's not there yet. Um, yeah, the, the, that's kind of the current state. It also has a pretty printer for Nix. Um, yeah, it's hosted on GitHub, and yeah, there's some docs how to get started. Um, it passes all the the Nix packages, the Nix tests, and so on. Um, so I'm gonna show you what you can do with it today. Um, we have Nix on the left, uh, the Nix, and H Nix on the right. So for example, if you do this in in Nix. Um, you will get just that an attribute A is missing, uh, which is uh, a constant uh, pain during development. Um, HNIX will, um, yeah, show you the actual attribute that you're looking, trying to look up, um, and um, gives you a bit more information. Um, there are still some errors like that are not that great. For example, if you do something like this. Um, yeah, it's still needs room. There is still room for improvements. Um, so one of the goals of of, of HNIX, there is no official roadmap, but one of the goals is to provide a better user experience, uh, and this comes to error messages and other things, and um, to provide good tooling so we could create. Uh, um, for example, there is very good support of. Uh, creating interactive debugger that you could go to different stack tr uh, stacks in the stack trace and see what are the variables inside, and and figure out you know what went wrong. Of course, uh, for for uh, infinite recursion error, that's not that helpful. But for everything else, it should be. Um, as I've said, it also has a formatter, so you can just run it like. Um, if I have a file like this. Pretty. I'm just. So it has a pretty printer, um, and it it kind of works. There is just one problem, and I'll show you, which is what I want to hack on uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is a, a simple um, file from Nix packages, and if you run it, it will. Pretty printed. Um, the only problem is it's it strips uh, comments at the moment. It doesn't support comments, so this is something I want to add. It's it's not that trivial because comments can appear pretty much everywhere, um, but it formats it pretty nicely. Um, let me show you another thing. So if you do a typo, for example, here, yeah, it will it will show you where the you know, actuals in source where, where the problem is, and it will tell you I expected this. Uh, no, I got unexpected character, and, and I got, you know, I expected this for three things. This is all basically Haskell uh, libraries by default do a very good job for parsing and so on. Um, so yeah, I would recommend it to, to try it out for error messages, and if you think they can be improved, um, open an issue. Um, and for pre-printing, once the comments work, um, the evaluation itself um, uh, it doesn't actually provide the correct uh, uh, hashes for the for the Nix, so it's not that useful yet. Uh, that's uh, they have a hackathon I think in. Yeah, that's it. 